this is just a follow-up video to the one I just did where I showed the bedroom. And I just really wanted to make sure that I also get on here that I am so beyond grateful for this fucking place that I've lived in. And my roommate, Sierra, I, this place has been where I faced my 20s. Where, you know, I used to glorify my 20s and wish I could go back to them and place that was a time when I didn't have really any anxiety and I had a lot more control over how I was feeling in the world and in my body. And I had my body back and all the things. But I was also, uh, so anyway, so I moved here and Sierra is 26 and she's amazing and incredible. Um, but she is my body type, my old body type. She has the same profession that I had. She has the same choice in toxic boyfriends that I had. She has the same level of self-love that I had. She was, she's right on the verge of completely fully awakening like I was. And so I realized all of a sudden that like, oh my God, you couldn't pay me to go back to my 20s like at all. Um, and I was all of a sudden so grateful to be where I am at the age that I am. Um, with what I've learned and who I am now and all my gifts and abilities that came out and all the trials and errors and all of the now self-love and body acceptance that I had um, have. And it really, really helped me to come into the present. And that was huge because I don't really feel that I would have been able to even accept going to Hawaii or even think of being able to do that or move past the agoraphobia um, without coming into the present. So, 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 so important. And I'm so, so, so grateful for everything that I learned here. Um, it also uh, uh, really taught me how to choose my battles and what I wanted to fight about with somebody and what I didn't want to fight about. Um, it also helped me to have a perspective of live and let live also because, and have more compassion for myself back then for not knowing better. <laughs> to make the decisions that I needed to make, which also helped me to have a lot of compassion for her in the spaces that she's at where she's not able to make the more healthy decisions for herself as well. Um, and I just, I have so much gratitude for her. I really do. And she, she's done nothing but try to make me comfortable here. Um, she let me come into her house and have control over the heat and the air conditioning and time frame when everybody was quiet in the house. And considering that she's 26 years old and super social and you know it takes in my opinion a, a pretty big person to be able to allow somebody to come in and do that and every time there was something that was going to be brought into the house or someone she always was like I want to make sure you're comfortable how do you feel about this yes we had our our you know I think three arguments while I lived here since August um but we got over them very quickly I learned a lot from them I've also, her dog, Jackson, oh my gosh, that baby. I can't turn my camera around, but I can probably. Yeah, this baby right here, Jackson boy. I'm such a good boy for auntie, huh? He looks pissed right now. But he's taught me, he healed a lot in regards to some animal stuff that I actually had was still carrying around. He, um, and this makes me emotional because I remember at one point, his body was like warm up against mine when I was watching TV and he was so like loving on me and I hadn't felt even that level of love or really touch from anything or anyone in so many years that it made me just my whole my whole body filled with love in that moment and something broke open in me <laughs> because of him and I'm so grateful to him and our time together and what he's healed in me and so um just very grateful for being here it's, this is a big, this is the last of my, last of my, I've been, I've been put in specific places to heal, clear, and release things. I mean, deep, deep, deep things. And this is the last of that for me. Does it mean I'm not going to have any challenges or things more to clear? Of course not. Of course, I'm going to still have things that I need to do and, and clear out. Um, and I know that, but it's not going to be on these deep <laughs> trauma related fucking levels. I've, I've done that. It's over. That's done with. And I do know that very clearly in my body. Um, also feeling psychically that I'm going to have my very own place by June, um, in Hawaii. And yeah, I'm just so excited for everything. So thanks for listening, you guys until the next video. <laughs>